picking pieces of wood like this so this is kind of my bailiwick. I'm looking for pieces of wood like this. This is maple. It's called spalted maple which means it's kind of semi-rotten but it gives you a lot of color. I do get kind of excited about that sort of thing. Almost everything I do is live edge. I do a lot of different wood. This is a dogwood burl. So I thought I'd do a dogwood flower around this hole here. Basically it's a lot of hand work. Hands do better work than uh, machines do sometimes. Glue in the crack. Yeah. I try to let the wood speak for itself so I don't really do a lot of things to it. These here are white oak and they all have really interesting burl stuff going on. All these little pieces in the wall here are almost all maple. This particular one has a really big interesting burl on it. A neighbor had a stumpling in their yard and he was just going to bury it. Box elder. My thought eventually was going to be a table base of some sort. The branches up with a glass top. It's a raggedly old fun piece of wood. Well, this is the old original barn part of the project. We came up here for two to three, sometimes four weeks every summer. We bring the cows from the home place. This is the original ceiling in here. That's the original wall. I really wanted a shop here. So we were going to build a small shop and then it kind of, one thing led to another and got bigger. And Sometimes I just doodle of potential projects. This is about as fancy as my drawings get. Thoughts that I've had. I do everything pretty much just freehand. I make myself little patterns, get them transferred onto the wood. Put the angle in, put the arch in. And then we'll go to the table saw and the band saw to cut those out. I wish I could say there was a real rhyme or reason to it, but there's not. This one was kind of an unusual piece. One of those art pieces that's sort of a useless table, I suppose. This one I call the five-year table. It's actually one of the first pieces I've built. It's called five years because of a piece of wood on top here. I probably walked past in a shop for about five years before I decided I was going to do something with it. I think there's six or seven different woods in it. I've been <laughs> kind of doing this for almost 50 years now. I built my mother a china cabinet when I was 16. I come from a long line of carpenters and artists. That's what I am, I guess.